Hello friends, welcome to Romania Experience. Today we're going to talk about cheap properties for sale in Romania. You know, we have talked about uh, apartments uh, for rent in Romania and we found out that you can find some very very good deals in the city center. But today we're going to talk about buying a home, buying a house actually. Why wouldn't you buy a house if it's cheap and nice? Well, the truth is that Romania is believed to be one of those uh, countries uh, in the world where you can buy extremely cheap property, which is true, but you shouldn't expect it to be, you know, high quality, to be, to be very luxuriant and such. We're going, to, we're going to see what you can get for up to 25,000 euros in Romania. There are literally hundreds of houses available for purchase for under $25,000 here in Romania. Hundreds. I went through a lot of them. A lot of them are dirt cheap, but are dirt actually. <laughs> you know, you can't call them houses. But uh, you can't really expect to pay 5,000 euros or 7,000 euros or a sm very small amount like that and get, you know, a palace. It's not possible. But what you would get for even as low as 5,000 euros, maybe 10,000 euros, is a house in a village, a house that you should invest some money in to rebuild, to make, but you would have a huge yard, you would have fresh air, you know? In the end, when all things would be done, you would still be way under the costs of buying a house or building a house almost anywhere else in the world, and especially in the US, especially in the Western Europe. So it would still be a lot uh, cheaper, but I didn't look at those houses because fixer uppers it's full of them, but it's difficult, you know, especially if you come from a different country to uh, start such a project. But I looked at houses that are at least somewhat livable, and I have found plenty. Maybe I haven't uh, picked the best ones, maybe you could still find better deals on the market. But right now, this is what I found, you know, just after. 40, 50 minutes of uh, research uh, browsing uh, through the listings online. And I'm going to share this with you. I'm sure it's going to be very interesting. Um, before we go there, I want to tell you that these houses are in villages. I didn't look for a specific area. I just uh, searched based on price throughout Romania. But all of these uh, houses are in villages. It's impossible, I would say. Maybe you could find in uh, a city. A very cheap house but I would say it's impossible to find something under $25,000 in a Romanian city even in the smaller ones it will most likely have to be a village house if it's under $25,000 but many of you want to come to Romania to experience the real Romania and live in a Romanian village and for $25,000 at most you can do that let's see what the money can buy you we're going to hop on in front of a computer and continue from there. So, we have 12 houses to look at today. The first one is only 8,900 euros and you might be able to even lower the price. Uh, from what we see in the description, we have a uh, large yard and garden, 1,400 uh, square meters, which is around uh, 1,400 1, 14,000 uh, square feet, if I'm not wrong. I, I might be very wrong. I didn't do the research. So it's a pretty big uh, yard anyway. It's, uh, it has an opening to two streets. Uh, you can connect uh, the running water. So it's not connected to the uh, village's uh, running water system. It probably has a fountain or something like that. Okay, it has four rooms, two bedrooms, one library, one balcony. Okay. It's furnished, it has uh, one uh, wood-burning uh, stove, uh, it tells us that it has, uh, yes, it has a well with a pump, so uh, probably electric one, so water is not really a big problem, it has a kitchen, a bathroom, it has a large basement, uh, it has a lot of things, you know. Let's take a look at the house. I'm not going to go through all the details because we have 12 houses, I think pictures say more than uh, the descriptions say, we're going to go quickly through those, so let's see. Remember, this house is available for sale for 8,900 euros. Maybe you would be able to uh, 
get it for a little less. It looks pretty nice. It's you can't expect, you know. This is an old house with old furniture here. Uh, the rugs and everything. You can't expect something amazing, but I don't know for eight thousand nine hundred for less than ten thousand euros, you actually get a house which is livable. It's it's not looking that that bad, you know. Maybe you don't like the uh, rugs over the armchairs and the rug on down here and everything looks very red and ugly, but you can throw all that away, bring in your furniture and you will, would have a very nice uh, house. You, you see this wood burning stove is going to give a lot of heat during the winter and uh, we have the location. I'm not going to share the exact location of this uh, house. So this is how a house for under 9,000 euros can look like. I have to admit that I search a little bit to find something as good as this. Uh, we're not shown the entire garden. Uh, most of uh, the properties that are under $10,000 uh, look a lot, a lot worse. But this was a decent one. Now we're moving to a property that costs 15,000 euros. It has four or more rooms, a very large uh, hallway. It has a basement that is divided in three. It has uh, internet, uh, electricity, it's furnished. It has a fountain. Yes, in the yard. So again, no running water directly from the village system, but it has a fountain with a pump. Uh, okay, garden, stuff like that. Uh, just 10 kilometers away from the Danube. Let's check out the house that is sold for 15,000 euros. This is a very nice photo of the house. You know, it's, it was very difficult for me because uh, it's uh, right now it's April, so most photos were t taken during the winter when, you know, when it's green grass and flowers and everything and the, the clear sky, it looks better than what we'll see in others. But anyway, the house looks really good on the outside. This is what you should look at at first. If the structure of the house is good, if the roof is good, if these two things are good, then the rest is going to be cheap. To look, just look at this. Look at this yard, how nice it is. It's very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. It has a, a fence. Replacing the fence would cost you a lot. So the fact that it has a solid fence is a big bonus. Uh, you would keep all the furniture, including including the rug on the, <laughs> on the wall. Yay for you. Uh, but I, I would say that it looks very decent. I'm looking at the walls, I'm looking at the ceiling. It's okay, you know. The door, it's old, maybe it's squeaky, maybe you wouldn't keep the rug, or the rug, or the rug, rugs. But overall, this is a very nice looking house, available for 15,000 euros here in a village in Romania. We're moving on to another house that's also 15,000 euros. Let's check it out. Let's look at the photos first. Uh, this one. I think this is also its yard. Not really sure, you know, you would definitely have to visit in person. Never buy a property based on the photos you, ha you see. Go there, look at it, make sure that you ask all the questions that you need. But yeah, a lot of land for planting. It's, this one would be beautiful, you know, will get beautiful. You can make it your own. It's cheap. It's, it seems to be solid and in a perfect condition, I would say, you know. Of course, probably it's built some 60 years ago, 100 years ago, but it, it's, it's, it's good, you know. That's what I'm looking at when I'm looking for a house. This is what mattered to me when I bought our village house uh, last year. I wanted the structure itself to be good because if the walls are cracking and the house risks falling down, there's nothing you can do but tear it down and build another one. But if the structure is good, then you can quickly and easily repair everything. Okay, we don't have a lot of uh, details about it. It, it. This one has water, so that's a bonus. You don't have a wall. Uh, well, sorry, uh, you have lots of walls instead. Now we're moving for slightly more expensive houses. As I said, very cheap ones 
I browse through them, but you have to do a lot of digging to find good ones, you know. But from 20,000 and up, you'll see you have some, uh, some good options. Let's check this one out. This one has, uh, I'm not really sure, I think they're called double pane windows. Uh, we call them termopane here in Romania. It has those which are very expensive to mount. We'll have an update about my uh, upgrades and renovations made at my own village house. And I can tell you that changing the windows and the doors with double pane uh, glasses and windows uh, or whatever they're called was very, very expensive. So having these installed already saves you a lot of money. Just look at this yard. Look at this nice yard that you can make it your own. It's perfect. I'm sure there is even more. This would be the kitchen. This is a wood burning stove uh, that uh, doubles at, uh, as a cooker. So you would put uh, wood here that would hit the room and you could also cook on top of here. And this little thing here is uh, a mini oven, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Again, great structure. Wooden beans, old, old stuff. The furniture, I absolutely hate this type of furniture. I hate it with all my soul. But some people might like it. If not, you can get another one. This is old furniture, hardwood. You know, this won't break, I think. Even 100 more years, it will still be there and it would still work. If it's your thing, it's even better if you like this type of old furniture. I see it has some newer furniture as well. Either way, wood walls, good structure, some improvements, a beautiful yard, probably there's more. Let's see, does it say anything about it? It only has two rooms, one kitchen and uh, a place for storage. No bathroom because it says that that place for storage can be made into a bathroom, so you would have to work a little bit. Uh, but it's close to the Tushnad, the baths, let's say, so you, you're in a slightly touristic area. Uh, okay. Oh, it also has a 3,100 square meters um, land associated with it. So this one that we see here is just the uh, yard, the backyard, which is 800 square meters, but it has 3000 yards more. So you would have a lot of work to do here. <laughs> Let's see. Next. Also house for 20,000. Not. A oh, we don't have a lot of details here, but this one was built in 1996, which is very good because most likely it is uh, with newer materials, uh, regular bricks or, you know, most of them are built with a mixture of mud and straw and stuff like that. They're holding, but if you want a better, uh, better house, better building, probably this one is it 67 square meter. The house is pretty small, but uh, let's see. Oh, you have a barbecue area here if you want to uh, eat something that you've just uh, barbecued. The yard is nice, large yard. It doesn't tell you a lot when you see it covered in snow. Okay, again, nice walls, nice windows. Probably you're not into this pink color, but all in all, it's clean, it's nice, it's good, you know. Old furniture. That is true, but you're paying $20,000 for this house. It seems to have very short uh, rooms, so not the very tall ceiling, but this is not necessarily a con because shorter rooms are easier to, um, to heat, you know, to keep, uh, to keep warm during the winter. Let's see, another one, also 20000 This is uh, in the Timish county, so maybe it's... It's 60 kilometers away from Timisoara, which is one of the biggest cities in uh, Romania. Not very far away and looks and it looks very good for a house that sells for 20,000. It seems that, you know, they, this uh, area here has been renovated. The roof seems to be in a good condition. You have a large kitchen, I think. This is the kitchen, probably. Pretty large. Romanian kitchens are very small. Whoa, look at this room. This is a huge room. Huge room, green room, not a fan of the color, but you could easily, yeah, here, 
we switch from green to purple, it seems that the wall has some minor problems, but I don't think it's, you know, structural damage here. Okay. Whoa. Not the best photo, but another room. It has a lot of rooms. And some are very large, you know? This is actually a very nice house. This is actually a very nice house. Large rooms, relatively close to a very big city in Romania. 20,000 euros. Your own house with a yard. It doesn't say how large the yard is, but it is a yard. And look at this one. Again, 20,000. This is definitely a large, nice yard, clean yard. I really like this one. Plus the, the finishing here on the... You see, the, these columns, I absolutely love, love them. The roof looks good. I won't show this on the map because you can search for it easily, but anyway. It, this is the water source. Probably just, hopefully just one of them. The fence is new. Everything looks good. You have your own garden to plant vegetables and eat them. Okay. There's a lot of room for an extra pool. This can be turned, you know, for your summer. We don't see the... We don't know how it looks on the inside. And this is a, you know, question mark in my case. Maybe they have nothing to brag about with the room, so they could be ugly. But still, looking at this outside and these extra things that were built and the house itself with the nice columns for 20,000 euros, I think you are... You, you would be happy. Now this one, I remember this one. This one is probably the only one, I'm not entirely sure, but this one has gas. This is extremely, extremely important because you wouldn't have to heat your house with wood. And this is a huge bonus. Gas in a house is just as important, in my opinion, as running water. Because it would save you a lot of, a lot of trouble. So this one is for $23,000. Uh, okay. We don't have a lot of uh, details. There was a phone number there. I didn't want to, sh to show it um, in the video. So this is the house. Okay, so it has some modern touches. You see like this arc here. Probably there, these were two rooms because old Romanian houses have tiny rooms. And as you can see, not very tall ones. But this one is decent, you know. It's clean, it's modern, it's renovated. It's not the biggest house you probably saw, but it has a yard, it is nice, it's in a decent condition. You see here you would have to do some renovation, some repairing, uh, but overall you can get your mini disco here where you have, you have the equipment already. I really like this house and especially the fact that it has these installed. That's a big, big bonus. $23,000 house, look at this. Really nice one. Oh, those colors. This is a whole... Okay, so again, these are new. New doors. Uh, they haven't been repaired after being installed, but these are new doors which are very expensive. So it has some improvements, at least some of them. The rooms are pretty small, but you could make them work. It has a nice yard. Nice flowers. Look, this room already is decent. I, I actually really like these touches. And another view of the house. Very nice one. $23,000. Only in Romania, in a Romanian village. Again, $23,000. Uh, 2,200 uh, square meters. It looks in a great condition. This is a renovated, this is a brand new uh, roof. And changing the roof could cost up to 5,000 euros. So this is an investment you don't have to make. It looks like, it, it looks awesome. Absolutely. In, in a great condition. Let's see inside. Inside also you see these the walls are straight. Older houses don't have very straight uh, walls. So you have to pay a lot. It has, everything seems to be new here for $23,000. Just look at it. Just look how beautiful it is. I fell in love with this house. <laughs> It has a bathroom, which some of the houses that we saw before uh, d didn't have, or at least we didn't see them in the photos. This is also a big win because, you know, 
having to go and do your stuff in the backyard. Mm, not so fun in the winter. The kitchen is not large by, West, by Western stan standards, but it's a decent size. You, you can get your job done here. A really nice house. A really, really nice house. Just look at this. This is beautiful. New roof. Perfect. Perfect house. Let's see. Does It, it, it only has two rooms. Uh, 30 minutes away from uh, Pitesht. It has been completely renovated in 2019, so around two years ago. It has a lot of, it says here what, uh, what they did, and uh, they changed a lot of things. So all in all, a very good house. $23,000 again. Look at this one. I really liked it. A nice house again, with a beautiful yard. This is an old school well for some fresh water. Hopefully that's not the only source of water that you have. Look. Rooms, renovated, nice, perfect. Huge bathroom. Not really my style, but you have a bathroom. You can look at these photos. I didn't really see the yard. It doesn't, it doesn't show us the entire yard, or maybe this is it. A smaller yard. Let's see if they say something about the yard. No, it has 1,400 square meters of uh, yard with uh, trees that will... Uh, that will bring you fruit. It has water inside the house, so the fountain is not your only source of water. So you also have a much larger yard available. Again, $23,000 for this house. And finally, I found this one, which is a very interesting find because it is, uh, it's the most expensive, not really the most beautiful of them, but it is in the De Vessel um, village, which is actually Five minutes away from the place where I bought my village house. <laughs> and this one, I actually pass by this house every time I go to my village. I know it, it's in a very good area. It's right next to the city hall. It has uh, a park. It's being built right now nearby. Uh, it's in a good area anyway. The Romanian villages are small, so yeah. But I wanted to show you if you want to be neighbors. Hello, get this house and <laughs> give me a call. It, it, it also looks relatively well, you know. The outside of the house has been renovated. Uh, it has a pretty decent sized um, yard. The inside is not bad either. You might still have to do some work, but I also, I would say that this is decent. You know, this is a decent house. It has a nice, uh, um, how do you call it? A nice shower, some improvements. Some improvements still have to be done, but overall this one looks really, really good. Really good. And it's like 25-30 minutes away from the city of Drobeta Turno Severin. It's near the Danube. And this particular house, I told you that I passed by it. It's in a very good location in a village. So, this would be it. This would be the house that I wanted to show you today. I wanted, I, I, I went as fast as I could um, through them. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, maybe we'll have uh, more videos about houses, but the final, the conclusion is that you can find a very cheap house in Romania, as you saw here. Just visit this uh, website, olx.ro, and uh, you'll find tons of options available. So this would be it. We went through the houses as fast as I could, but, uh, you know, I still had some comments to, to make. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're still here, don't forget to like this video, to subscribe to this channel. It means a lot to me. It shows your support and encourages me to make more videos. Let me know if you would like to see more houses for sale in Romania, maybe higher prices, maybe specific cities, uh, stuff like that. Just comment below and tell me what you would like to see more from me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. See you soon. Kalin is out. Bye-bye.